What's up everyone? This is week 15 of the Quick Picks. So let's go ahead and get started. Jacksonville is traveling to Atlanta to play the Falcons on Thursday Night Football. No, you, you know what? Fuck it. We're not going to talk about the picks. Forget about it. We're not talking about the picks for now on. For now on, it's all about the Dallas Cowboys. That's all I'm going to talk about. I don't, I don't even care about the other teams right now. I'm just so fed up and sick and tired of seeing this fucking football team on my TV screen lose it in the fourth quarter. Almost every fucking game. I'm tired of it. And Saturday night, they go into Tampa Bay to play the Bucks. Now, <laughs> the Bucks have a really good fucking chance to beat us. Badly. Like, you know, we have three games left. If we win three games, we win the division. That's how, that's how it's going to go. But, you know what? I don't see it like that. I just don't see it. I, 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 I just don't. I don't see Dallas going in there taking care of business. I can see it, but I just don't believe in them. It's just not going to happen. We have to go into Tampa and uh, LeGarrette Blunt, Blunt, if he plays, he's just going to run over our fucking defense. I mean, no one wants to tackle. No one wants to make a play. I mean, the only people out there that seem as if they have heart is DeMarcus Ware, which he's playing through a stinger in his shoulder right now. So, he he's out there every fucking week doing his best. Even though he can't he didn't get pressure last week, I didn't see him quit on one play. And then I have to give it up to Mike Jenkins. He I don't like I don't like the way he plays sometimes, but he's been going through a lot of in injuries lately, but he's been sucking it up and being a man and playing through it. You know, I applaud them. But you know what? Sensible, Ebl Abe Ab Elam, uh, Frank Walker, and maybe almost Terrence Newman. I'm sick and tired of your fucking dumbasses. You know what? It's I almost want to tell you somehow, get you guys out of there. Because I cannot stand their play anymore. Terrence Newman was getting beat like no other. Mario Manningham burnt him off the fucking line, and he dropped the ball in the end zone. I mean, this it's just getting ridiculous ridiculous watching this team lose in the fourth quarter like they do. I just can't stand it. And then, the next week, Philly comes to town, and we might get embarrassed yes, yet again. Michael Vick. And Deshaun Jackson are probably going to have a big day for some god for some godly reason, because our secondary can't cover nobody if our life depended on it. I mean, it just makes no sense. Deshaun McCoy is probably probably going to have a big day. I don't doubt it. I mean, all of these re re the rest of these games are winnable. You know, I'm not saying we're going to win, but they are winnable. And we beat the Giants last year at, at their place, even without Romo. So I know we're capable of doing it. It's just, if we can, it's the willpower. And I'm just, I'm just sick and tired of looking at it. Looking at this team play on my TV. I mean, I just can't handle it. Watching this team fall apart in the fourth quarter. Last game... Tony Romo, no one cannot bash him for bad play. The only questionable play was in the fourth quarter, the end of the game, when Romo threw the ball over Miles Austin's head. Now, to me, I think that was a perfect throw, and Miles Austin could have made a play on it. But you know what? His hamstring has been you know, messing with him. So I really think that bothered him. Not to try and make that play. Because if he probably tried to make that play, he probably would have pulled it again. So there's really no point in trying to make that play. If he's just going to injure his hamstring again. Because he, he'll be out until playoff time and maybe even one playoff game if we do make it to the playoffs. So, I mean, that's the only other questionable questionable call, I think, Romo about Romo. But Tony Romo, these last couple games... He, he has taken us down the field to get in position to win a game. It's just poor coaching, 
Stupid timeouts. I mean, that's all I can say. So, pretty much that's all I wanted to say in this video. I don't care about picks anymore. I don't care about game of the week. To me, it's all about Dallas now. That's all my focus is on now. So, Dallas going to Tampa Bay. It's a winnable game. And I think maybe they will win. But you know what? I just can't go with them anymore. Because they just fall apart. So you know what? I'm not even taking Dallas. And I really don't see Dallas making the playoffs. So I don't know what they're going to do. I think they need a dra draft secondary in the draft. Like every fucking round. Because that defense is just fucking horrible. I mean... I mean, no. I'm not trying to... Hate on Demarcus Ware, but he's getting his age is getting up there too. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but that's all I have to say. Let's see how Dallas loses this week. I'm out.